law and we talk about the 2023 Israeli judicial reform the 2023 Israeli judicial reform is a proposed uh, series of changes to the judicial system and the balance of powers in Israel put forward by the current Israeli government and uh, spearheaded by the Deputy Prime Minister and the Minister of Justice, Erim Levin, and the Chair of the, uh, of the Knesset's uh, Consti uh, Constitution, Law and Justice Committee, Simcha Rotman. It seeks to curb the judiciary's influence over lawmaking and public policy by limiting the Supreme Court's power to exercise judicial review, granting uh, the government uh, control over judicial appointments and limiting the authority of its uh, legal advisors. If adopted, the reform would grant the Knesset the power of uh, the power to override Supreme Court rulings that deem legislation passed by the Knesset as unconstitutional by reintroducing the legislation and approving it with a majority of Knesset members. <clears throat> the reform would additionally diminish the ability of courts to conduct a judicial review of basic laws and change the makeup of the judicial selection committee so that a majority of its members are appointed by the government and effective control over the appointment of uh, judges is given to the government. Levine and the ruling uh, government coalition have stated that the above is the first step in their judicial reform and uh, that uh, additional steps are planned, including uh, changing the appointment process of legal advisors to government ministers such that they are appointed and dismissed by the ministers, making their legal advice a recommendation rather than binding on the ministers and making them subordinate directly to the ministers rather than to the justice ministers, uh, to, rather than to justice ministries' uh, professional oversight. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu was forbidden from taking part in the debate over his government's judicial reform by Attorney General's order due to a conflict of interest stemming from his ongoing trail. Netanyahu maintains that it is necessary to strike a balance between democratically elected legislators and an activist uh, judiciary that selects its uh, own members and wields undue influence over public policy. The proposed reform has sparked a significant backlash both inside and outside of Israel, opposition leaders and activists accused the government of undermining uh, established norms of checks and balances and uh, attempting uh, to seize absolute power, with some arguing the reform amounts to an attempt at regime change. The President of Israel, Isaac Herzog, has called for the reforms to be altered to allow for a wider consultative process 
and the president of the Supreme Court of Israel and the Israeli Attorney General have attested to the reform's illegalities. Protests against the reform erupted in Israel shortly after its introduction as did significant concern among some in the international community. On uh, 12th uh, of February 2023, Herzog called on the government to cease pushing forward the legislation and to in engage uh, in dialogue and coordinated reform with the opposition in an attempt to achieve consensus. The government rejected uh, this proposal and bills advancing the reforms were passed for a first reading the next day on 13th of February 2023. <coughs> Simultaneously with the reforms curbing the powers of the civil judiciary, the government is progressing reforms to widen the authority of the rabbinical court, allowing them to act uh, as Ar uh, arbitrators uh, in civil matters using uh, religious law if both parties consent. Thank you very much.